Hey everybody, welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play Mega Man Legends. My name is Blackbird, and in the last episode we unlocked the sub-cities that once cleared, we will open our pathway to the final boss. However, uh, before we proceed to the final boss, uh, I will use this episode to wrap up uh, everything we didn't we have yet to do in this game. It's not There are not many activities to do, so I'll just clear this out in this episode so we can proceed and finish the game in episodes 17 and 18. Anyway, let's just go to the item development here and make a new, some new items that will help us, right? The blunted drill. Is, we have finally have the drill arm to use to open the pathways that are blocking on the underground. Uh, we get most of and everything you get and you need can get there. We still have only have one or two items, but there's not much there. Um, there's only the final the one of the parts of the final weapon of the game that I rented in the past episode, but that's all right. Uh, we have the auto battery. That's a new Buster part. They're gonna equip later. We don't have a. I don't believe we have much use for a new Buster part here, or we have. All right. Actually, we have. Oh, let's equip the. The blunted, the, the drew arm, change weapon, and let's go up and here, the drew arm. Yes, now let's go out. Let's make, let me equip some, change the buster parts here. Uh, I'm gonna use the power, power buster R. It was just the auto battery, I just made. The machine gun or the sniper scope. Or did you finally have some some good stuff to use? So let's go out and let's start with one of the side quests. Like actually, it's the the last side quest that we unlock, and it's a pretty easy one actually. This just then, we received word that armed robbers have stormed the bank and made off with a large sum of money. I don't envy the mayor her job. What with stuff like this happening all the time? And with such incompetent uh, inspector for leader of the police force, yeah. Anyway, let's go to downtown then and see if can ha if you he can help. And here we have the pursuit. We have to shoot them, but let me do this. Oh, I didn't. It didn't work. Uh, the servos move quite fast, and I'm usually not fast enough to reach them. You have to try to ambush them, but I'm not good at that either. So what I tr usually try to do is uh, to get hit by the, the police car. Stop! Stop it! Ah, uh, you just hit them. I try to get hit by the police car, so uh, when the police uh, hits me, I go over the their car, their car and I don't have to move around, I just have to face forward and keep shooting. Let's let's see if we can do if I can do this. Ah, we doing anything. This is not working. And so they they are not they're not doing anything. That might mean something. Maybe. And the bad thing here is that we can't shoot while using while using the. Ah, uh, dude, we can't shoot while using the. Ah, I got. Finally, now I just gotta face forward and start shooting. If I can only aim now. The problem are the, the turns here. They really. Are somewhat problematic and I believe I don't have enough range change buster ports need more range all right so now we have range we better get out of here Something tells me we should believe in them. Why won't you listen to us? If you stop running? I feel sorry for them. And 
they're nearly done. Now, if you guys notice, there's a trunk here. Let me try talking to him. Sorry, good. Come here, boy. Ah, uh, we can't. So, never tried this before. Um, so, let's uh, get the trunk here. And... There's two... One thing we gotta consider here. There's 200,000 zany inside the trunk. If we run with it, we keep the money. But, we turn dark immediately. So, I'm gonna talk to the police chief and take the money back since we're doing the good Mega Man thing here. And we got a reward. Yeah, at least something, huh? No, don't call me. No, 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 I'm gonna get finish this game fast so you, you can't use me anymore. I won't help you. Good mood, yeah. Oh! So the servbots were right. Yeah, let's talk with the, the counter officer. This had come to borrow some money. Yeah, actually, let, let me finish the surprise act, act here and explain. Uh, they borrowed the money so they could start a business, alright? Let's see what they're up to. But before... I actually wanted to show something here. Uh, I was to show uh, an NPC, NPC here. I was, show, I was going to show this NPC back in episode... 12 or 11 I think but I didn't show it it before La this girl would be here in the veranda but now he is she is on the on the top of the building the city hall possibly the city hall I like those little quirky things the, the game shows those little details that uh, uh, that like I said before that give personality to the game. Now, um, since the, we're in here, let's show the business the server bots have started. It's around here, I believe. Yes. Here is the Stripe Burger. Now, if we try looking here, we can't exactly jump around here, there's no one in the counter. But if we get here... Oh, sorry, employees only. Let me show here. There are serve bots behind the counter. They are the ones manning here. It's only one thing to show, really, because there isn't much here you can order a burger that will give uh, you something or you restore your health or anything like that. It's just it's a funny thing. Uh, and if you if we come here on the library, there's a little a little detail about the the, the burger shop that we don't know yet. Here. So they don't exactly know how to cook. Yeah, it's a recipe for a disaster. Anyway, there's still something we're gonna do, and I'll meet you guys in the apple market. Here in the apple market, let's check the, the guy from the vegetable store and his wife that was pregnant. Oh. And you know, if you guys have got it by now, if there's anything slightly wrong, we gotta act. You know, it's a cue for, for us to take action. So let me use the, the, roller, the roller shoes here. and. I haven't been using them a lot since the, the mini games. I I think the mini game kinda traumatized me. I don't like using the them, but yeah, they're kinda useful for those those distance playing distance to, to walk around to to make the way through this. They're not really useful in dungeons, but here they are. And here the, here's the woman and she's not looking good.
Uh, let's take you to the hospital. Here comes a Roseband. And let's talk to the nurse. After she comes a little bit, and that means going out of the hospital and coming back. And yay, let's talk to the husband who, who is here. Sunlight. Yeah. Now, now that we have done this, we can finally go underground and get some of the items we, we didn't got. So, I'm gonna meet you guys on the Portal Tree dungeon because it's the closer one to the, to, to, to the item we need to get. And I'll meet you guys there. And here we are in Portal Tree, so let's move on. Uh, there's a tree level wall right here. And we got the and part where you haven't been able to get before. And I have some items here. So let's open this. Bluster unit R and a hole in the wall. Weapon plants. Now, the weapon plants are used to make the, the shining laser, one of the most powerful weapons of the game. And there's a few items we still can get here, but not in this section actually. We actually have to get around. So after cleaning this, this those walls here, I'll meet you guys north of there in one of the parts that connect to the Lake John subgate. And here we are. Now if you look if you look at this part, it's going to connect to the other side of the Lake John subgate. And if we go to the, the left, at least my left, there's nothing there, so we've already got all the items there. So let's go to right here and let's get, let's drill the wall and get this. There's an, one of the those chill yellow guys here. And I gotta say, uh, I gotta repeat that I don't like the drill, the drill arm a lot, because, just because of the... I feel like if you've been exploring the dungeons, You've actually got around and got most of, most of the items that you need right now. With the exception of two ports, oh, here's the old launcher, uh, that's going to be used to make another weapon that is good, but comparable to the, the active buster and the shine laser is not big, not not really good. And another, and I believe it's Zany that's on the other, on the other, on the other chest, I'm gonna only show here because it's what I'm I'm here already to do to show the the final and the final chest we're gonna open here. But yeah, there's not much much to do here. And this is one of the the things here that I believe they could have used it it for a a, a bet in a better way. You know, if they place it more parts behind walls. Or if they gave us access to the access to, to the to the uh, drill arm before, it would be way way easier to, to navigate around to make more useful usefulness for the weapon. I wonder if they actually planned to to implement this uh, early in the game, but when they saw the they were running out of time, they just threw some items around there and made stuff and left that the thing for later, they didn't have much time. The other two chests here are uh, trapped chests. The only one that has something is this one with Zenny. So with this area cleaned, we can go to the museum and finish the side quest there. So I'll meet you guys on the surface. And here we are in the museum and let's talk with this guy again. Yeah, the sense of prophecy from this painting, I've commented on it before, so this time the game tells us. And really, I won't be saying spoilers, it, re it resembles the final battle of the game. Hmm, that's a funny looking thing you've got there. It looks like a hibachi or something. Maybe they use it in the dungeons when it gets cold. 
Why don't we call it a fire pot and put it on display? Yes. Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. So I'll give the remaining items to her and I'll meet mm -hmm. you guys when I finish giving That's it. And once, once all the items have been given to her and we leave and come back to the, to the second floor, um, all the, the items will be on an exhibition here. So we can check and see what each one means. Um, she'll have tell, uh, tell, told us everything that which, uh, what each item means before. So I'm not gonna show here because there are a lot of items and we spend a lot of time. But the important thing is this girl after comes to the museum after we finish it bringing everything, and she'll talk. She'll give us um, a figurine that is in actually uh, the shiny prism. So yes, and the shiny prism is the last item that we need to make the shiny laser, the prism crystal. Sorry, I am thinking too much on the shiny laser. So uh, let's meet with Ro and make the our final weapon of the game. Alright. Let's talk with Ro and go to item development again. To make the spread buster, the spread buster is a good weapon. It's a really good weapon. I'm not kidding. However, by the time we get the spread buster, we you already can do the, have the the active buster, and you can make the shining laser. Which, which has which, it's the most powerful weapon in the game. It causes a lot of damage, and really, it has infinite energy if you fully upgrade it. And you can fully upgrade it for uh, half of the price of fully upgrading the the active booster. It's actually cheap, cheaper than upgrading the, the the last level of energy of the the active booster. So let's select an, uh, our active our shine laser here. Here's the red booster. And blade arm, shining laser, and I'm gonna fully upgrade it. So let you, let me show this. It's a weapon with the highest level of attack in in, in the game, I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's next it out, and if you upgrade the four levels of energy, energy level three. Pulse to infinite energy, so we can fire with it indefinitely. And let's increase the range, because the range is somewhat short. It's the only area it's actually lacking a bit is in range, and everything else can't be upgraded, alright? So with the shining laser fully upgraded, we're gonna end this episode here. So next time in Let's Play Mega Man Legends, we're gonna explore the main uh, the su uh, sub cities and unlock the main gate so we can fight the final boss, alright? I'll see you guys then.